Yeezy shoe sizes run different from any other shoe. Watch this video to find out how different. Plus, <laughs> plus buy Yeezy, plus buy Yeezys to help Kanye pay for his uh, child support, his alimony, legal fees, and a bunch of therapy. We got, we got to hold the kid down. <laughs> I'm keeping it real. He going through it right now, y'all. He need, he need our support. <laughs> Let's get, let's get back into this video. <laughs> What's up? Welcome to Art on Decks, um, where we do a bunch of creative cool shit, and we want you to learn from a bunch of blah, 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 blah. Let's get into the story. Today, we're going to um, unbox a pair of Yeezys. Um, I'm not even sure which shoe it is. It was a birthday gift. Shout out to the coolest baby mama ever. <laughs> um, girlfriend, whatever you want to call it. Mother, child, all, all that good stuff. Um, yeah, so... Before we get into the boxing, it's actually a shoe that I don't know. I don't even know what it is. I know it's a pair of Yeezys, but I don't know which particular shoe. I just want to get into why this product, why Yeezys, why, why should we buy Yeezys, support Yeezy, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, my creative journey into you know supporting artists. Um, of course, a lot of y'all who, who may not know, um, I did a book a few years ago. Um, with the likes of Nikki Giovanni, Russell Simmons, Danny Simmons, Kehinde Wiley, Marcus Jansen, like the biggest artists, art enthusiasts, um, gallerists, all that kind of stuff, right? So, um, in the me in, in the midst of me doing this book, I found <laughs> I found a lot of <laughs> it was like like I guess the Wizard of Oz, whatever you know, pull the curtain back and. I thought it was about like aesthetics and who actually had the best art, but it's not. It was really about certain people highlighting certain people, kind of thing like that. So <clears throat> I just kind of wanted to do something about that for the culture, um, highlight people who was being you know underrepresented, underrepresented, or I don't know how to say that word. But um, anyway, fast forward, we're here on Index Live, and um. I'm, I'm into this Yeezy brand. You know what I'm saying? I'm into the Yeezy brand. Right? Um, I'm trying to replace all the brands and designers and artists and people who we comfortable with who may not be cool or are cool, but um don't support us or people, you know, I'm just trying who's who's on that? Who like I was trying to find out who's the shit right now that we should be supporting right so buying Yeezy um the cool thing about Yeezy is um he owns 100% of his brand he has a partnership with Adidas where he, pay, he gets paid a royalty off of, off of each shoe from the manufacturing and distributing all that kind of stuff but he owns 100% of his brand he could get up and take his brand wherever he wants to a lot of people can't do that 50 Cent can't do that with his TV show he has an oil and Dale. Stay tuned for some of the shorts. We're going to get into that deal next. Um, <clears throat> very soon. Anyway, um, if, when you buy Yeezys, um, like, this is really like, for people who weren't born in the 80s, shout out to those 80s babies, I was born in 82. Um, when Jordans came out, it was, I mean, I, I don't remember exactly how big it was. I was too young, but I knew it was a big deal. Like, my, my dad had Jordans, and I remember, like, putting my, putting my feet into his shoes, pause. I'm not sure. That, is that a pause moment? It's my dad. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? But, um, I remember, like, they were special. I remember the first pair I got. You know what I'm saying? For my birthday and all that kind of stuff. But, of course, iconic brand. Just be, you know, we basically buy the same shoes over and over. I see Yeezy, um, the Yeezy brand. It's like the Jordans. It's like imagine being able to be in the '80s. Some people were born in the '90s or 2000s, 2010s, where they're buying Jordans, but they don't know what it's really like to have a pair of Jordans. Like you know what I'm saying? Like the real original ones. And I think this is your chance now to actually kind of be a part of that wave. Like, cause like this is like any when it comes to art, 
music. Jay Z is great, right? But w- people who've seen Jay Z when they first come in, it's a different affection where it's like he's your artist, right? And then you know, 20 years later, when a new artist come, Drake comes in or whatever. People who've seen Drake come in, they feel like that's their artist. You know what I'm saying? So you wanna, I don't know what it is with art where we do that thing like. You feel like you like they're in your class. You know what I'm saying? When you're like in junior high school, high school, when it's like that that, that epitome where music, visual, whatever, it means a lot to you. That's kind of all you got. You hold that person, that artist, there to you more. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure when Stevie Wonder came out back in the day, in the 70s, our parents was like, yo, that's my nigga. Like, you know what I'm saying? And even though other great artists came out afterwards, um, it's a different affection where you was there. Same thing, um... My aunt was talking to me about Purple Rain like years ago, whatever. And I was like, I wasn't born when I came out. But I love Purple Rain, the album, the movie, all that kind of good stuff, right? And then she broke it down to me one time. She was like, Dao, if you was there when it came out, and I knew what she meant when when she said it, I was like, ah, yeah. She's like, now you like it, but you don't know it. Like, it's it's different. Like, same thing when, when 50 Cent dropped his first album. And was it 02, 01, or whatever it was. Um, I think it was 01. I don't know when it was. But whew, if you was in New York, if you was, you know, that high school town, that, that you know, 18, 19, oh, no. Whew, something different. So that's what I'm talking about. So right now, Yeezy brand is kind of like that for a lot of people right now. Um... The best part with Yeezy, though, we had Jordans growing up. Jordan had catches a lot of flack of not being, like, really down with us. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Republicans buy Jordans, too, and blah, blah. And he doesn't speak out with a bunch of stuff. He donated money to, to the cops that actually um, harass and kill black people. Like, he, like he, he's kind of off cold a lot. You know what I'm saying? Yeezy is not is kind of the opposite. He crazy. <laughs> Yeezy's crazy, you know what I'm saying? But he, he, on, he on cold, you know what I'm saying? He's about taking over. He's about black ownership. He's about giving more to the artists. He's not about, and I, it's no slight to, to Michael Jordan because at that time, maybe that's what it was. You see what I'm saying? Maybe he wasn't, he wouldn't have been able to get in that room or do what he did if he thought different. So we do stand on Jordan. Of course, we, we do, without Jordan, it wouldn't be a Yeezy. To a degree, he wouldn't know to make those certain moves that he's making. So we can't kick Jordan down too much, you know what I'm saying? But Jordan's still here. He could negotiate some better stuff. Maybe he's comfortable. I don't know, whatever. But it, it just hurts my soul when I hear, like, his kids don't own the company and all that kind of Like, oh, my God. Anyway, that's what true art is about, you know what I'm saying? Owning it, passing it down to your family. Um, but yeah, Yeezy is he's conscious. He's he's doing it for us. You know what I'm saying? Um, in his own way. <laughs> but yeah, also Jordan was is the brand, right? But the designer is Nike. Like Nike, like the the classic Jordans is what Tinker had to feel, whatever his name was. Shout out to him, iconic shoes, great designer, great artist, great great artist. Um, but. Yeezy is doing this. Like, we know the guy. Like, see what I'm saying? So, you got Jordan's like the face of it. We're buying it because of him. He's a brand, right? But you got, you got an ownership, and then you got a different designer that's not in our culture, who don't care about us. They're not marching with us. They're not representing us. So, it's just with Yeezy and Jordan, it's, just, it's a different monster. It's something, I, this is where we need to be at today. If Jordan was doing all that stuff, if Jordan said, nah, we. I'm getting designers from the hood. I'm going back to Chicago and or North Carolina or whatever, whatever, and getting people who's really making the sauce the sauce anyway. It'd be we'll be talking different right now. But we don't. Yeezy's doing that. You know what I'm saying? Um, um so I got a pair right here. It's my birth it was my birthday. I actually waited to even open these to um <laughs> To, to do the joint with her. So I'm, I'm gonna see I'm gonna see what she got me. And um we're gonna get into that real quick. <laughs>